You're hosting this holiday season great. Now what? You've got to figure out how many people are coming. What will you serve between prep and cooking? Will you even have time to decorate? The most important thing is enjoy your guests. Celebrity chef and cookbook author Ingrid Hoffman can help us reconcile all of that. She comes to us today from Virginia. Good morning, Ingrid. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's good, good to morning, see everyone in Omaha. This uh, is great to be with you guys. We're glad to have you back on the show. Um, complicated <laughs> recipes, right? I feel like those are out. We're looking for simple. <laughs> are there any shortcuts that you would recommend now that we're into the holidays? Well, first of all, I am all, for me, the holidays are all about my family. And I think that for most of us, that's what counts, gathering the family. And, you know, that's one of the beauties of Smithfield because the family is at the heart of everything that they do. Now, one of the things I like to say and that you asked about is I say pick smart recipes. What does that mean? That means recipes that you need to be very, do very little to and that are already centerpieces. Like for instance, our beautifully sliced spiral hams, they come already done. All you need to do is heat your oven to 275 degrees, calculate, 10 to 12 minutes per pound, and all you do is rub the glaze that already comes with it. So to me, that is a smart recipe. All, most of the work's been done for you. And look at this beautiful centerpiece of a presentation. Mm -hmm. So all you need to worry about is a few side dishes, and most of the work's been done. And now leftovers, for instance. What uh -huh. do you do with those leftovers? You turn them into a thousand other recipes. So I suggest the next day, ham tacos, or I take the bone once it's completely finished and I cook it down to a soup with beans and potatoes, super yummy. And now, for instance, another smart recipe. Our pork loins already come marinated, which means that, yeah, that means that they're pre-seasoned. So we've done all the work for you. Just pick any stuffing that you like, cut the pork loin in half, stuff it. In this case, we're using cornbread, wrap it with bacon, and who is not going <laughs> to like such a delicious thing? Terrific. And look at the beautiful presentation. Mm -hmm. It looks fancy, though the way you describe it, it sounds relatively simple. It, that's, I was mm -hmm. telling you, yeah. it's all about smart recipes, and that's the only thing you have to remember in the back. Don't be doing things you've never made. Go to uh -huh. this sort of pre-made, almost halfway there recipes, and you've got half of your, if not most of your dinner already conquered. And now, last but not least, dessert, because everybody looks forward to dessert on the holidays. So one of the hottest trends in baking right now is to pair sweets with salt, <laughs> yeah. bacon. So here we've got our delicious applewood slow smoked bacon that we've put on top of an apple pie. Could it get more decadently delicious? Now this makes people happy. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> now the beauty of all of these tips, tricks, and recipes is that you can find them all at smithfield.com and I promise you we're going to make it so easy for you. So make sure to visit our website and I really hope everyone has beautiful and safe holidays. Uh, we hope the same for you, Ingrid, and for your family. You know, the dishes you've shown us here this morning, um, they all work if you're hosting. Can you give us a word, though, if you're the one going to the holiday party, um, something to take along? You know, I think, like I said, to take along for office parties and for potlucks, for instance, the bacon-wrapped uh, stuffed tenderloin is a super easy dish mm -hmm. to move. You just wrap it in foil and bring it and then have some garnishes to present or even our dessert. And I think that when you think ahead, just plan in your head to prepare your uh, house a few days in advance to do the things that you can pre-do so that the day of the holiday that you're half your family gathered. You're not stressing out and spending the time in the kitchen. Pre-make everything and pick smart and prepare yourself days ahead mm -hmm. so that you're ready and that day you just coast and have a wonderful time. Less stress is a good thing, Ingra. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Mary. Mike. Happy holidays to everyone. Oh, thank you. You too. Mike?